Welcome to Leveling Up the Podcast with Alethea Tucker. I'm so happy that you're listening today. My goal is to bring something new, something promising. I plan to bring conversation, resources, and wisdom around the things that are holding us back from going for our best. We'll talk about everyday life and careers. I'll bring us dialogue designed to dig deep and identify our passions. We'll talk about the limits that you need to let go of and the promise that you need to grab a hold of. I'll interview women who bring valuable insight to the table. We'll have opportunities for Q&A and we'll talk resources to help along the way. There are levels to this and we'll hit them all starting at the ground floor. We all have dreams and now is our time to level up. Ground floor. A few years ago, a young lady I met at church, April, invited me to a sleepover. Thus began a friendship that became more precious to me than I ever could have imagined that it would. April was a real Denzel Washington fan. And at first, you know, the sleepover, there were probably about 10 women there. And we watched Denzel Washington movies all night long. <laughs> April was a new believer and she was on fire. She spent loads of time just reading the word and developing and, and really focusing and cultivating her relationship with God. By the second gathering, we were joined by two married women and they brought the wisdom that we needed as young women, many of us just fresh out of college, you know, some of us just newly married. The Denzel Washington movies gave way to Bible studies and all night sessions where we would laugh, where we would pray, where we would cry, where we would eat. Just so many different things we did. We named ourselves the Prayer Warriors and then the Fellowship Group. And we've had a number of names along the way. We're about 30 years old now, maybe a little older. And at one point, I know we stood at least 20 women strong. There were many of us. We have been together through some thick and thin times. We've been together through marriages, through births, through deaths, through divorces, through trying times, through great times. We've just been there for one another. We're women who are always there for each other with a listening ear. They hold me accountable and they tell me when I'm wrong and they rejoice when I hit the mark. We all need women like that in our lives. Some years ago, at a very young age, April passed away. That was a first for us. We had never really navigated the death of a sister, a true friend. She left an indelible, an indelible imprint on us. And in the years since she's been gone, we've prayed a lot more. We've loved a lot harder. We've held on to each other's necks really sternly. And we've been there through thick and thin. There truly is nothing better than a group of women in a true friendship, in a sisterhood, who love one another dearly and who are there for each other. Your affirmation. I know that I have people in my life who mean well for me, who want me to flourish, who want me to prosper. And I desire to have women in my life, friends. I know that friends are true and try. I know that they add value to me, that I add value to them. There's a song that says there is no friend like Jesus. But I would venture to say that it is very helpful 
that it is awesome to have at least one or two more. Uh, hello and welcome to Leveling Up the Podcast with Alethea Tucker, the podcast where we talk about things that you need to do to level up and to do great things in your business. What about just in your life, period? And today I am so excited to have with me Angie C.J. Sims. She is the owner, the founder of the League of Girlfriends and the Coach's Compass. She is doing absolutely wonderful things for both of these organizations. And I'm gonna let her tell you a little more about herself and exactly what she's doing. But before we do that, I want you to know that we are coming to you from the Authors Conference. I'm so excited to be here for such a wonderful occasion where authors from all over the country have come together to talk about the business of authoring and so much more. And that's where I have met Angie here. I've met Angie before, actually, through various networking um, venues that we've been a part of. But I finally get to meet her in person, and I'm very excited to have her here with us today. So Angie, tell us a little more about both of these groups that you are um, owner of and founder of. Yes. I know you do some wonderful things. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. And thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. I've been following you for a while and I, oh, I just love this. I love your podcast. Um, I find myself today at the Authors All Star because I myself am a four-time author. I've helped 17 women become new authors through this incredible organization called the League of Girlfriends, which I founded over six years ago as a professional organization for women to connect socially because who else are you going to refer other than your girlfriend Right. So once we connected as girlfriends, we've grown from nine members to over 500 because every single woman, especially every woman in business, needs a girlfriend. Yes. So we yes. find that our girlfriends connect in business and refer to each other almost exclusively. Mm. But what I found is being here with Taria and Vision Avon, who is the founder here of Authors yes. All Stars yes. and Book Profits uh, Club, my friend is a coach, right? And she and so many other coaches that have movements call on me quite often to help them navigate. Navigate through their business things, navigate through hosting events, because I've been an event planner for 25 years. And I'm sort of the girlfriend's club. They come to me when they Oh, I've got an issue. Let me call Angie. I need a resource. Let me call Angie. So that led me to found the Coaches Compass because I'm consistently helping coaches to navigate in their businesses, mostly through hosting their own events and creating their own platforms. As an event planner for 25 years, I show them the resources they need, how to make money from their events, how to be profitable, how to kiss babies and get on stage. Yes. Because I'm handling every other part of it. So that's the Coach's Conference, and I'm so honored to be at the helm of that. Oh my, that is awesome. Do you know how many people you have freed up <laughs> to do the other pieces yeah. of yeah. what they're actually bringing to you in the conference? You know, you are carrying a heavy weight. You take mm -hmm. on a huge load mm -hmm. for those people and free them up. So that is an awesome, awesome um, platform that you have, Thank as you. well as the League of Girlfriends. Yeah. And like you said, who doesn't need a good girlfriend? Or two or three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that is exactly where I um, I met Angie as well on a couple of different networking platforms where she was talking about the League of Girlfriends. And I know for a, met, uh, for a fact that they do things both virtually yes. and in person. Absolutely. So our members are all over the country, even all over the world. Yes. We've got Hawaii, Alaska, Austin, Texas, California. And women, especially throughout the pandemic, although we've been around for six years, when the pandemic hit, a lot, you know, Georgia is, in Atlanta specifically, is like networking capital. So if you're yes. not in Atlanta, you don't know. We network day, morning, all over the place, all right? The time. So yeah. On that Friday, when the government announced that Monday, my child wouldn't go back to school, I woke up the next day like, oh, what are my girlfriends going to do? Because a lot of times women get together in these networking groups and they share their business. And sometimes it's like, what can you do for me? What can I do for you? Nothing? Okay, bye. 
right? right? But that's not what my girlfriends do. But I know so many women were used to doing that, physically exactly. going to a place to meet other people to share their business. So when I woke up the next day, I said, the Saturday, what are my girlfriends going to do? Mm -hmm. The very next day, that Sunday, I created this virtual platform called LOG Super Girlfriends, where I had my girlfriends come on to members, because my members are called VIGs, very important girlfriends. <laughs> so that's when you invested in the membership, you get all types of privileges, including 20% off of anything that we do. But this particular platform was free. 1130 I had two girlfriends and six o'clock typical times when they would be networking anyway in person I held this virtual platform so many of them had never gone live before but they said, Angie said, I could do it, so I think I could do it. Plus, I put a nudge. Oh, Angie, go. I'm not quite ready. Oh, no, you'll be fine. I'll see you, I'll see you at 6 o'clock. So what we did is we actually hosted 100 of those shows. Then I got tired. Because <laughs> we were doing it every day, two times a day, but it was so necessary. Yes. So many women were afraid to go virtual. They didn't know, you know, afraid to be on screen and things like that. But this really moved their businesses to a whole other level. Yeah. And that's what we want to do as girlfriends. Yes. If we're not helping you take the next step, Exactly. Exactly. Being there for one another. Yes. That whole networking piece. You know, that I always talk about that being so critical yeah. and leveling up and mm -hmm. moving to your next level in your business. Networking in many instances, networking makes your business. Oh, essentially. Yeah. You determine, you know, networking helps you to determine what's next, who's going where. So that is absolutely awesome. So speaking of networking, what are some of the networking things that you do? through girlfriends. I know that you have, yeah. you know, opportunities where you guys get together to do absolutely nothing. Yeah. You know, That's which, important. which That's is important. Important. That's important. You know, that is hugely important as far as self-care is concerned. And then I also know that there was a point where you were doing things, offering women space yeah. to actually run their business. Oh yeah. So, so that's yeah. really important. Right? Yeah. So the getting together socially is fun and it's mm -hmm. fine. And it's great, especially when you're new in town and you don't know anybody else. It's awesome to walk out and feel welcomed as soon as you come. Cause it's a group of girlfriends waiting for you. But what we realized, especially over the last six months is that our girlfriends need more, mm -hmm. right? Social is fun, but networking is important. Just getting value and leveling your business up is really, really important. So we've yes. created a brand new movement for 2023, right? Oh. And it's all about education empowerment. Okay. So we have a financial education empowerment movement. We have a wellness education empowerment movement. Mm. And we have a business education empowerment movement. Everything from business credit to metaverse, right? Yes. Because we need more. Yes. But what we do is we create this platform that's virtual, that's hybrid. You can have mm -hmm. virtual or in person. We have a series of workshops, a series of podcast interviews. Oh, nice. Everything related to all of those subjects. And what we do is our members are the ones that have the ability to be the speakers. Right. So awesome. we have over 500 members. They all have different businesses and we sort of plug them in. Mm -hmm. If you do health care, if you do Mary Kay, you can talk about skin care. Right. If you do uh, Bitcoin training, you could trading, you can do talk that. about that. Yeah. So we plug our members in first. And that's another incredible benefit of membership is that we're allowing you to showcase your, yes. to showcase your business. And we allow you to offer people to join your business. Matter of fact, we encourage it. Mm. So anytime I talk to to my girlfriends, I call them randomly. So with over 500 members, people say, how can you believe I do that? Yeah. Randomly. Hey, Susan, what are you doing? Oh, you need to talk to Betty because Betty's doing the same thing. Right. Because we sort of know what the other what Networking. other members are doing. Networking. Networking. So those are the type of opportunities that we have where girlfriends can come out, meet each other, network mm -hmm. with one another. And they come to me quite often and say, Angie, who do we have that this. We've also had this incredible online business listing. Mm. So thousands of people visit our site every single month, men and women. We have something called the girlfriend's list. It's my answer to Angie's list because I should have been <laughs> Angie's list. <laughs> but it's my sort of Angie's right, list, right? right? So we've got tons of businesses on there. Most of them are members, but guess what? Some of them are men. Mm. And the men pay $200 to be on that listing. But our members get on that listing for free. Exposure. Exposure, exposure, exposure. exposure. Yeah. to put you in a position so that you can execute. Right, <laughs> right. And Angie talked to us about that execute last night. Tell us a little bit about what you said about execution last night, because that's key. Yeah, so so many people, so I, as the coach's compass, I am the bridge between your ideas and your execution, yes. right? Because yes. so I many people that. have skills and gifts and know how to do things, mm -hmm. but what gets in the way is, but how do I do that? Right. How do I host an event and make money? Yeah, I've done a baby shower before, but hosting an event on a platform where you want to make money, how do I do Far that? So many people 
get the thing that gets in the way is the execution. Yes. So yes. that's the people. A lot of people call me the CEO, Chief Execution Officer. Right. right? <laughs> because if you want to get something done, you need to put it in the hands of somebody that's done it before. Right. Well, Nothing new. It's under the sun. Mm. Connect yourself. Collaborate with somebody that already knows how to do that thing to mm -hmm. get you to your next level. The yes. most important thing you can do for yourself is act. Because it's so easy to do nothing. Yes. Right. So I talked Very. about that yesterday. Execution is the key. Yes. And if you if it's not really your core mm -hmm. competency, partner with me. I, was I love to help you can. execute. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's why her word yesterday was execute. Oh. Take action. Yes. And you know, that is for many of us the thing that's gonna help mm -hmm. us to go greater. Yeah. We just need to move on it. Just move on it. Yeah. And she talked about that a lot. And she encourages that in everything that she does, definitely on both of these platforms. Oh, yeah, that absolutely. She works on. absolutely. Absolutely. So tell me, what is it that you would tell any women? You know, my niche, I always talk to, I call them my risers, my women. Okay. 45 plus who are determined to do Which whatever. Which is not they me, by the way. Right, right. I'm just joking. Me either, not really. <laughs> 45 plus. You know, we, I'm giving away. Yeah, I am. We're determined to do whatever is needed so mm -hmm. that we can elevate to thrive mm -hmm. in these, what I like to call our prime years, oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. those years where we may be empty nesters now or approaching empty nesters or thinking about maybe retiring from that first job, mm -hmm. and doing what we've been dreaming of mm -hmm. doing, being mm -hmm. an entrepreneur or mm -hmm. just any number of things. What advice do you have? for that audience, for this audience, as far as what they should do and what they should focus on to make sure that they're getting those things done yeah. at this stage and not falling prey to those limiting beliefs and yeah. all that other stuff. What is it that you recommend that we do so that we can level up yeah. and get the things that we need in our business, in our lives yeah. straight? Yeah. So what I found, and that is pretty much my avatar, the woman like you know, obviously my organization is extremely diverse, right? Women, yes, right? Yes. But what I found is that my avatar, my core mm -hmm. group of women that mm -hmm. come to me are women that are right there. Mm -hmm. They're 45 to 50, they're at yeah. an impasse. Because what happens is I live my whole life doing yes. stuff for everybody else. Everybody. Now, how dare I think that now I'm here by myself. Right. I should have the right to do stuff for myself. Right. But it's still that yeah. mindset because I'm being, I train myself mm -hmm. to do for everybody else. Mm -hmm. So the thing that helps them get over the hump is collaborating. Yes. It's talking to me. It doesn't yeah. have to be me. I love her. It doesn't have to be me. But connecting with somebody can encourage you because yes. that's what a girlfriend does. Yes. So most coaches will say, hey, Get that stuff done and mm -hmm, leave it to go. Mm -hmm, you know, go at it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you weren't going at it before, you probably had that list for the last five or ten years. Easily. But then the Bible study thing. went on top of it. The husband's lunch went on top of it. Yes. The kids' homework went on Everything. top of it. Everything went on top of it. And you dusted off and say, I never got. But if you had a girlfriend with you, she'd hold you accountable to that, yes. right? Yes. So that's what getting over. Having somebody there to walk that walk with you. Because it's scary sometimes. Yes. It's yes. the unknown. You know, and if it's something you haven't done before, it feels like it's the scariest thing in the world. Absolutely. But if you have somebody to help you along, you can execute that thing. Especially somebody that's consistently saying, hey, how are you doing on that? Yes. Remember you, you want to do something? And it takes some of it off of you. Yes, because as a coach, it's really important for me to say, okay, here are the things I recommend that you do. So it's 10 things here. I'm going to do these three. Mm-hmm. Who's mm -hmm. doing that? Right, exactly. Who's doing Nobody. that? Nobody. Oh, but a girlfriend will do that. Absolutely. And that's exactly what I do. <laughs> and that's awesome. And think about, the, you know, we've heard for a long time, there's strength in numbers, oh, yeah, you sure. know? So I'm seeing somebody who looks like me, mm -hmm. who is, you know, fighting the same battles yeah. as me. And they're there holding me accountable and helping me to get yeah. through my stages yeah. that they've either already gone mm -hmm. through well, they're right there in it with mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's huge. Mm -hmm. That is huge. And, and a, that is huge, so a, a bigger win can come from aligning yourself with somebody that's not going to change you. Yeah. Because that's the big part. So, listen, I have girlfriends, um, but I'll say it. If you had to not do it this week mm -hmm. because you had to do something for your husband, don't feel bad about that. Exactly. To me, that's my daughter. Yeah. The God, the husband, the kid. You know, you have to still live your life. Yes, I'm not yes, saying put your everything on hold just to do you because that's a huge thing to ask, it right? Is. But just giving each other grace is huge. Yes. Oh, grace. That's key. Giving each other grace. And you know, when we get to this stage, like, you know, we were just talking about, we've done things for everybody else, you know? And in many instances, we haven't stepped up to the plate 
to accept what we're due. Mm -hmm. You know, we're putting everybody else out there. Mm -hmm. We're doing it for everybody else mm -hmm. and letting them take all the credit mm -hmm. for it. You know what I mean? So it's hard for us to sometimes get to the point where we are accepting of, yes, I did that. And, and, and yes, that's good. Or when we mess up, it's very hard for us to forgive ourselves. Oh, yeah. So, oh, you know, yeah. that grace piece is huge, huge. Absolutely. for us to realize that, you know, Absolutely. we, you know, we're not the only ones who've stumbled mm -hmm. and, and messed things mm -hmm. up. But what I try to get my women to see when I'm coaching them is that it is time for you to step out there and go for it oh, anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is time. Do it scared. For, yeah. Do it scared. Yes. But you can do it scared easier from holding your hand. Yes. And I'm saying, okay, we missed that step, but we're going to make that right. We, we got three more steps. Step. Yes. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Oh. Well, you know, our segments here are short, and I'm definitely going to have you back oh, for I'd sure. That. I would love, you know, and maybe we'll do something every couple of months or oh, so. Oh, that would be great. You girlfriends know, catch yes, up. Let's do the girlfriends catch, catch up. up. I love that. <laughs> we have to do it. I love it. But what I always end with is I ask the speakers or, you know, whoever's guest, mm -hmm. my guest is, what is it? Any re Are there any resources out there that you can recommend to my audience that's going to help them to reach new levels? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do two really quick, if you don't okay, mind. The first fine. is my site, coachescompass.com. If you go there, you can get a free copy of my ebook, which shows you how to get profits from hosting your own event. A lot of speakers and authors are sitting back waiting for somebody to yeah. call them. Listen, create your own platform. I know that's A profitable right. platform where you can get all. <laughs> yeah. Okay? So yeah. That. The that's second important. thing is on the leagueofgirlfriends.com. There's a link there. This is girlfriends list. Okay. I've got tons of girlfriends there. I love to see you guys support them. Girlfriends and guy friends that have yes. that have gone on the site. Use their businesses. Tap into them. And if you need something, reach out to us. We're right here for you. Every woman needs a girlfriend, but guess That's what? Every right. single girlfriend needs you. That's for sure. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So tell us, and I'm going to include this in the notes, of course. So be sure you look there for information on how you can get in touch with Angie. But tell us also so they can hear it. How would they get in touch with you? And, you know, what your website is. Okay, so my website is coachescompass.com, or you can reach me at leagueofgirlfriends.com. And then you can always find me on IG and find girlfriends. Yes, awesome, awesome. Angie, thank you so oh, much. Thank you for this having has me. been wonderful. Yes. I know our audience is going to profit tremendously yes. from this. Thank you. So we're signing off for right now. And remember, it is never too late to level up. Yes. All right, have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> we all desire to live a life where we're walking out our purpose. However, many of us never identify what that really is. We strive to better our relationships, but we don't know why we struggle. We've reached our middle age and our careers aren't exactly what we want. They're not fulfilling. And we can't seem to identify the direction that we desire to go in. We're pained because we long to thrive in all areas of our lives. And we've tried program after program, conference after conference, video after video, We've even gotten a t-shirt to prove we were there. Where we've fallen short is in starting something that doesn't cost lots of money. It's strong and rich in experience, has hidden gems that supply the answers that we need to either get us started or to get us exactly where we need to be. I'm talking about our stories. What's your story? This is a monumental question because it controls so much of who you are, what you do, and how you live life. I help women and I'm helping them to get past the mid-age life and career struggles. I use the story as the platform. I work on incorporating them in strategies to establish confidence and correct mindsets. I build them in establishing career experience and qualifications, and I create messaging around them to secure your business and knowledge as a budding or new entrepreneur. Stop discounting your journey. It's truly the foundation for your success. It's time to tap into it. Get past the pain points, get unstuck. Identify your voice and push for the life you wanna live and the career that you deserve. Reach out to me. 
so that I can talk to you about programs that are designed specifically to get these results that you desire. Go to the link referenced, schedule an appointment with me today. Let's start our 2023 out on fire and headed in the right direction. Welcome to The Loft. Indeed, it was a pleasure to have our guest today, all the way from the Authors All-Star Conference, Angie Sims, with the League of Girlfriends and the Compass Coach. You know, we always ask our guests to tell us or give us resources that they would recommend for our audience. And she recommended a couple of things. Number one was to make sure you stay in touch with your girlfriends. Find yourself a good girlfriend and hold on to them. In addition, she recommends that you go ahead and head on over to her webpage. There you'll be able to find a wealth of information that pertains to networking, helping you with your business, making sure that you stay connected with a good tribe, and ensuring that you have the resources that you need, whether it is to elevate in your personal and or your professional life. So what are we talking about? Her website is www.leagueofgirlfriends.com and you can reach her there. Be sure that you click on to the Girlfriends Business Listings, which again, has a lot of resources there. People and um, services that you can tap into to make your business better, and to help you to develop also. Angie is also working diligently on the Coach's Compass, so be sure to listen for additional information on that. And that's it. Okay, we've reached the end of the episode. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen. As you catch the elevator down, if you feel so inclined, rate, review, subscribe, and share with a friend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Remember, every day is a new opportunity and it's never too late to level up.